Hey, welcome to the Grace of Thrones. If this is your first time, if this is not, welcome back. I appreciate you. So I do have a video a tutorial that's about less than 10 minutes where I show you guys how to cleanse energy and things of that nature and to invite some good positive vibrations into your atmosphere and things like that. So I haven't um, done one since. I just figured like, okay, with this upload, I need to like, like have some good vibrations going and things like that. Um, so like, you know, even if you like had visitors at your house and you just wanna, you just never know. It's good. So I, I'm gonna show you guys a few things, all right? And so before the video that I gave you guys was um, with frankincense, and myrrh let me turn that down a bit um it was using frankincense and myrrh resin to remove negative energies and invite good ones or just um help ushering out um spirits that are in transition whether that's um spirits that are just earthbound spirits or spirits that may have um, been related to you um as they transition they need help being ushered to the other realms so the details is in that video um Maybe I'll link it below, but anyway. So today I'm gonna to add um, some different type of resins, um, and I I don't I don't recommend anything I don't use personally. So yeah, <laughs> just for that to be said. Um, anyway, this is charcoal, so I'm gonna light this baby up. Ah! It's on fire, and so I have it in this like this I got from Burlington a few years ago, and I have like this extra thick layer of glass. Excuse me, stuttering there. Um, and this is just for um, safety measures because when this heats up, it heats up, it gets hot. Uh, like the charcoal, right? And so I use two layers, two different um, mediums of protecting it and making sure that, um, you know, all safety hazard and measures are taken to protect the safety of ourselves and the home, you know, the atmosphere, wherever we are. So today, Instead of me using frankincense and myrrh, right? This is frankincense for those of you who do not know what it looks like. Um, this is the resin. I prefer the resin rather than the incense stick. Okay. So, I don't necessarily know the name of this resin, but like this one I do know. It's called patchouli, and patchouli has so many awesome benefits. It brings in fertility, love, it brings out negative energy out of your home, you know. Hold on. Okay, so like this gold color here of resin. This is like patchouli. The green one is from Egypt, and this this brings in um money. Um, I don't know the name. I'll try to find the name and give it to you guys at the moment. I don't know it, but um, it definitely brings in the green one. Brings in mula, and then I have a Pacific like separate one for that. And then the gold one is like, it removes negative energy out of your home. It brings in uh, positive energy, brings in fertility, abundance, and good vibes, right? That golden amber resin there, you see, right? Okay, so once again, frankincense and myrrh like the white resin. Um, patchouli for the gold. The green is to bring in that mula or that mal, all right? Mal is 333 is money in Arabic because I just finished taking my Arabic course, some Yasi, and I got an A. I'm so proud of myself, guys, because that was a pretty intense course. But, anyways, um, and so for those of you who don't know what um, Mer looks like, this helps with like helping spirits that need to be ushered out or just like removing certain energies at night. Um, yeah, Mer is great for that. So anyways, I just want to share that. I'm going to invite some of this into today's read, today's session, today's, um, you know, spiritual enlightenment, right? Okay, I'll let you guys guess, but I'm a fire sign. So for fire signs, we're very spiritual. We're about spiritual evolution, um, inspiration, and about finding purpose, you know, and aligning with purpose. So some of you guys may be able to resonate here. Um, and I like, yeah, I like to give you guys some tips, like what insights, but also things to use to help you balance and benefit yourself. My left hand is scratching. So that is a sign that money's coming in. And see, soon as I put that green resin in, that's also from Egypt as well. Like the money coming, it's coming. Anyway, so. <laughs> All right, so now that I got this good vibrations going, 
I want to start off today's uh, message um, with a revelation that I received, right? And that revelation, it talks about loyalty, right? And it's like, you have to be careful who you give loyalty. Loyalty is such a beautiful thing, but it can be dangerous when placed in the trust or the hands of someone who's undeserving, right? And something um, that I have here in my book of lessons, right, is um, a message that you, you know, may be able to resonate with. So listen up. I am not my wounds. I have wounds but my wounds are not me my wounds are warrior stripes my hands is itching so you've been through a lot especially in the financial department but you earned your stripes you've been blindsided you could have been wounded financially but you are not those wounds you decided not to stay a victim but to proceed and be the victor that you're meant to be but with this victory, it did come up, uh, um, failure was involved, all right? And with that failure, it wasn't complete failure, but it was an opportunity for you to understand that a mistake is only an opportunity for you to learn something. Like, who the hell are you giving your loyalty to in the first place, right? Think about it. Because sometimes you're loyal to others more than you're loyal to yourself. And then you'll say that you love yourself. But if you if you love more others more than you love yourself, ask yourself, isn't that you somewhat being a traitor to yourself? Adulting, right, requires you to love yourself. And you'll, most of us will say, yeah, I love myself, but uh, they don't even keep up with their dentists and their medical appointments. And how could you say you love yourself if you don't take care of your needs, your hygiene, your skin, the sleeve that God has given you? without taking really the moment to breathe and understand that you're human and you need rest and you're allowed to make mistakes. You're allowed to cry, you're allowed to shout if necessary, but what you're not allowed to do is give up. And, 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 and what you wanna do, what you would wanna do is avoid being loyal to the wrong things or people that it takes away from your vitality, it takes away from your balance, it takes away from your purpose, it takes away from your energy, your 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 your, your body, your spirit. Because certain being loyal to certain individuals or certain things or certain parties will eat your spirit up. And you have to wonder if you're really alive or you're the walking walking dead. If you're not careful, you know what I mean? So it's a message. A traitor is always within, never without. Never trust those whose goal is only for money and power because the measures they will take to obtain this is questionable and unknown and dangerous. You hear what I'm saying? If one betrays you once, you may forgive them, but keep your distance. One's character has been proven their true intention towards you. And if boundaries are not set in place, they will have the opportunity not to only betray you once, but twice. You survived the first cut of betrayal from them. But it is not promised that you will recover from the second bite. The bite of a deadly snake. 911. So, respect the words of the wise and appreciate the help given to thee by another. For everyone is fighting the monsters in their own world. You understand? So, kind of bitterly. And, and, and understanding, like, even when you mean well, like, yeah, I meant, I, I meant well. I was loyal to this person. I wanted this person to do great. Just because you meant well doesn't mean it will be well um, if you don't make the necessary choice that is going to keep you balanced and sound. Big thing for me and my message to you in this mortal journey, please, let soundness 
and balance be your main goal in anything that you do. Because you need a sound mind in order to operate at your highest capacity, in order to rest and rejuvenate your body. And you need balance in anything that you do. So balance yourself is my advice to you and my word, my message to you. Yeah, from the day of every godmother, that's gay, baby. You know what I'm saying? These are my experiences, and this is what spirit is, um, you know, things that I've experienced personally, things that I've seen, things, um, stories that I've heard. I just, what spirit is placed on my heart, you have to be very careful with being loyal to others before you're loyal to yourself or more loyal to others than you are to yourself or giving the wrong people loyalty because he, being nice gets you nowhere. Being kind pays off, but people should earn your kindness. Your kindness is not for everyone. And being kind to the right people will pay off for you. But being too nice, be honest with yourself. In this cold world, in this, you know, shrivel up time, uh, being nice doesn't really get you anywhere. So you gotta be careful. But being kind will pay off, right? So, anyways, that was my message here. Um, that I opened up with. And then let me tell you something, another thing too. You see people, when they go against you as a child of divine, when spirit sees the divine, the universe, the creator sees and knows what you have been doing, the deeds that you put out here, and people decide to go against you and you were true to them, you were loyal to them, better believe their day is going to come. Whether you see it or not with your eyes, but it will come. No wicked deed against the divine goes unpunished. Sometimes it takes time, but in the meantime, you're not going to wait around to see the fall of the up or the fall of your enemy. You're going to live your life and trust that the universe is going to do what is necessary, right? Now, some people, they end up going against someone that is loyal to them and bring upon hell in their lives that lasts some for some a lifetime, some many years, when it could have been avoided. That agony they brought into their life could have been avoided if they would have just been loyal to you. So sometimes their karma is in betraying you. They open a can of worms that they, they damn self can't even handle when they finish. But, you know what I'm saying? That's their karma and their actions, the consequences of their actions coming to bite them in their own ass. Anyways, let's go into the message, y'all. Let's see what Spirit has to say for the collective. You don't got to get your hands dirty either, I'm telling you. Once you see, okay, so see, Moon in Gemini. All right, stress may be an issue at this time. This is why this good vibrations here is good for you. It relieves stress, it relieves anxiety. All right, these resins and relieves any evil energy, any dark, heavy energy. And it brings in beautiful vibration. It brings in, um, you know, that divine celestial energy, healing, relaxing. I'm gonna just like put them around my temples. I like, get this much is coming in, but like, I'm telling you guys, clean up your house, clean up your aura, clean up your atmosphere. What you waiting for? Especially if you're dealing with stress. I mean, stress comes. Uh, it's a part of the territory of life. I just feel like one needs to learn how to balance themselves and how to like take tackle it or handle it without imbalancing their stability as an adult, right? It comes with adulthood, right? So moon and Aries, it's time for you to remain sensitive to uh, um, to others to avoid some type of confrontation. So be mindful in your actions and sensitive um, and take into consideration you know, and how you communicate with others or deal with others at this time. So we have Moon and Scorpio. Negative attitudes and fiery arguments are possible at this time. So you want to channel your energies into positive physical activities, like whatever you like doing, period. Okay, whether it be decorating, gardening, you know, whatever it is that you do that keeps you, ooh. So we have a new moon. The time is right for seeking new opportunities. At the bottom of the deck, we have half the full moon. Embracing high levels of motivation and energy will bring feelings of empowerment and satisfaction. And with that being said, I want to see what's shifting, okay? Because I feel like um, 
just like the seasons, there's always shifts and phases in the human's journey, right? And um, so with that being said, this is the Shape Shifters Oracle, and we're gonna see what's shifting in the lives of the collective at this time. Okay, I appreciate you guys for being here. Please help me with the channel. Getting it out there by liking up the video, like, share, subscribe, and I appreciate you. All right, and you want to hit that notification bell so when I post, you know. Okay, so all right, let's get some good vibrations up in here. All right, you can slip at your back and to it, you can slip at your you can slip. tit tit boom. My best song is this, is this same as I say? I don't know where that just came from, but that could be significant to somebody at this time. It's a classic movie. All right. Let's see what's going on. All right. So, wow. Dragonfly Mermaid, you have attracted wonderful news in number 19. So, this shift that's taking place is going to attract some wonderful news into your life. The number 19 breaks down to the number 10, which is the ending of something or a cycle and the beginning of something new. So, um, ooh, we have uh, Wolf Moon. I will watch over you, the number one. Okay, you are the one. It is divine that you are divinely protected everywhere you go, even in the darkest of the hour of the night. You are watched over and cared for by very fierce and strong and brave, courageous guardians. All right, your spirit animal could be a wolf or significant to you. Okay. Dragonflies, mermaids. And let me tell you something. Right now, we're saying it's time to say goodbye. Something is about to end for now. Not forever, but for now. Remember, the phase is alive. It's like the seasons. We got to understand to go with the flow sometimes. Okay? As humans, number 13. So, right now, it's time to say goodbye to something. And for me, that clarifies um, you've attracted wonderful news. But it's time to say goodbye to something for now. So, I feel like in order for you to manifest or to receive this blessing, this gift, um, level up and transition and upgrade in some way shape or form right receive this blessing you're going to have to say goodbye to something or some folks for right now chill out is that for now but it didn't say forever trust the flow go with the seasons because once again this is some really good news that you're attracting all right and divine is watching over you but there is a very important decision. You gotta choose between two paths. We have two kittens. Now, as the spirit is watching over you, they're saying, okay, but you must choose. We watching over you. That's what your guys are saying. That's what the universe is saying. They're like, listen, we got you, but you still gotta choose. And they want you to make a decision because they're not gonna force you. The creator's not here to force you. The creator is here to support you. Your ancestors, your guys, your angels, they're here to support you and back you, not force you. Okay, and guide you. Now they watching over you, but what did I say? You must choose. You must choose, not them. And so don't, don't if, the, if the divine ain't trying to choose for you, you go, don't let nobody choose for you. They don't let these humans choose for you. You understand? Divine is giving you the opportunity to take the freedom of, you know, making the necessary action for yourself and living a life and manifesting a life that you've been praying for, you've been working on, that it is your birthright as well. So what you going to choose? Now, it's a tough decision or a challenging one because it's something that's dead to you. See how close you're holding on to these cats? Something that's close and dead to you. Dead to your heart. Some type of emotional connection. Some of you spiritual. But you're going to have to choose. And whatever you do, I feel the anointing coming through. You better choose you. You get what I'm saying? All right, so because next up we have Artemis of the Forest. Now you are independent and free. Number 32. Oh, you free, baby. That's what you've been asking God to set you free so that you can fly like the, the divine bird that you is. Not chicken head bird. I'm talking about eagle. I'm talking about owls. I'm talking about, you know, beautiful, powerful birds. Doves, not chicken hair, chicken hair birds. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, little Red Riding Hood, I'm not a victim. Didn't I tell you I felt that you've been through some victimized things? Or you've been through some things that you were definitely a victim, but not right now. 
not what that's not what God had for you. Now you are a victor because you received the victory in what was supposed to take you out, put you down, knock you out, put you through it. But Devon saw you through it. So go ahead and clap for yourself because you are not a victim. The number three. You're not a victim, baby. Look at the wolf showing up, too, because people came for you. Then I tell you, they didn't know who they was. They were away. Coming for you. Now they know, because it didn't matter what trap they set for you. You still independent and motherfucking free. They couldn't tie you up in no bondage. They dig pits for you and fill in the damn same pit they dig for you while you continue to grow and to flourish. And they wondered how. How? Because you're not alone. That's how. That's why. Anyway, so look, I can't make this. It's a loyal guardian, and we were talking about loyalty, right? A magical protector is there for you. <laughs> now look at these three cards here, honey. Why they play with you? Between the rock Rylan and the wolf. Your spirit guys ain't about to let you be victimized like little Red Rider hunting this bitch. And uh, they're not about to let anybody get close to you if they not loyal. A magical protector is this, especially you're magically protected, spiritually protected. I tell you, I fuck the vibe, the spiritual vibration. Now, Wolf Moon, I will watch over you. So you will watch over everywhere you go, whether it be under the dark nights or the bright blue skies. You're divinely protected. No matter the path, okay? No matter the season. Okay, they better just come on now. So, these are good things, is what I'm getting here. And at the bottom of the deck, we have Pose Brave Plights, okay? You will not let fear stop you this time. And one of the recent messages is, well, it's time for some of y'all to take some flights, period. Number 26 brings on to number 28, which has to do with infinite, opp infinite opportunities, possibilities, protection, guidance, and luck and prosperity. Right? So that's beautiful. And that's beautiful. All right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull on some of these. These are the manifesting your soulmates. Oh, my God. All right. Your best soulmate is you because you have to find your own self. Find your soul, especially if you lost it. It happens to the best of us at times before you can find your soulmate, okay? Okay? Identify your own soul and be aware and being one, you know, being in sync with yourself. Make sure your soul is in sync with your mind, body, and spirit before you go outwardly looking for that soulmate. Now, I have found the one that my soul loves, and if that be you first, baby, I'm telling you, I'm trying to tell you. Follow your heart's desires and manifest the heck out of your life. Yeah, you want to find your real motherfucking soulmate as you do you. I hear sirens too, okay? Hold up now, my 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 music that left the area. Let's get that music back up in here. So I feel like it could be some alarms, some sirens coming through, but you want to push through and pay attention to the melody that keeps you afloat. Now, look at the sirens. Sometimes the strong people in the morning and the people that cried all night. And I knew. I knew because when I saw that she had, this young lady had to make a decision. If you look at her eyes, it wasn't no easy decision. So, something about your eyes is significant here. You've been going through it, but spirit seeing you through it. The universe is blessing you through it. Mm hmm now, let things come and go. Stay calm and don't let any disturb your peace and carry on. Back to the beginning message. I'm talking about soundness, mind, body, and spirit, and balance. All right? So, let's get a fortune for you, and I'm going to let you go. I appreciate you guys for being here. Remember, be loyal to you first. Not everyone deserves your loyalty. So, excuses are easy to manufacture and hard to sell. So, what excuses are you telling yourself? You're making it yourself. It's easy to put that shit together, but it ain't easy to set it. So don't lie to yourself. Don't make excuses. Time to take action. All right, your lucky numbers are 4, 54, 39, 52, 51, and 56. Your next fortune, it says, don't let st statistics do a number on you. So no matter what the people say, you're going to make it anyway. I'm going to fuck what up, 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 up them statistics say. Okay, period. 
what God has for you is for you. No man has heard or seen the plans that God has in store for you. So bump them statistics, do you? All right, lucky numbers is 2, 50, 29, 13, 9, and 19. And that's crazy because remember the 13 was that saying goodbye for now. Something comes to an end for now. So don't think like it's unlucky because something came to an end for now. This is actually a lucky situation for you. In order not to let some type of statistics do a number on you for some of you specifically. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, the next one we have. You are talented in many ways, so take a moment. For yourself your lucky numbers are 51 33 25 1 12 and 42 going back to that one was i will watch over you both moon so you're you know what i'm saying a lot of beautiful synchronicities and then we have a couple of extra bucks could be floating in your direction that's that's a blessed way to end this message because we can all use a couple of those extra bucks, can't we? <laughs> Your lucky numbers are 3, 21, 9, 7, 19, and 41. And 3 is I am not a victim. So lucky you. You're no longer a victim or you're not a victim. You are a victor. And you have the victory. All right? I appreciate you and I'll see you soon. Jesus.